Hey guys, it's Matt from OK Clothing. I thought I'd do a small video to show. Um, oh, fuck off. Okay. Hey guys, it's Matt from OK Clothing, and today I thought it'd be quite cool to show you a behind the scenes look of how we get our samples made. So for spring summer 2021, one of the ideas I want to do is I want to create um, a range of twin sets. So where previously we've had track suits, um, obviously that match top and bottoms this year, I want to do hoodies that can be wear with sweatpants, but also sweatshirts that can be worn with the sweatpants for the first time. And then again, the t-shirts, everything will match, all the colours will uh, pair together. So you could wear a hoodie with shorts, t-shirt with shorts, and then also like a cut off t-shirt with shorts. And then obviously as it's a spring summer collection, uh, there's three more designs for some extra t-shirts. So then from the idea stage, I then take that to a tech pack, which is what I will send to my supplier. Um, again, very detailed, every single measurement and detail is listed on this uh, tech pack. And also I log the questions that I asked my supplier beforehand. When I get the samples, I write down the date. And then once I've got the samples, I'll then write a list of notes, which is in this top left. Uh, with all the changes that I've got a log of everything and you've always got something to kind of fall back on. So to take you through one of the products, this is the hoodie that we're thinking of doing for Spring Summer 21. The left hand side, this one just kind of gives a bit of a basic overview of what the product will look like. And then as we go along, um, it goes into a bit more detail, talks about details on the hood, the pouch, uh, the logo positioning. This page here is a full on spec of all the measurements, so you don't want to see that, but... Uh, you can have it if you want to copy it um, that shows obviously where the measurements relate to in terms to the uh, size spec and then the last page is the branding page so it shows uh, the logos that will be on there the dimensions of them and then how they will be created whether it'll be embroidery screen print or whichever method you choose so then this is the samples that i received uh, showing you the hoodie sweatpants and the shorts every sample that i receive comes with this spec sheet so that I can check the sizes against it and I'll go through and measure every detail and every trim and also make notes on it. So with these samples, as I wanted to do the twin sets in black and steel grey, uh, I also was tempted to do it in a white, so I got the samples made in half white so that I could see what they look like, received them and I'm not keen so I need to find another colour. I've uh, basically gone through all the details, so I wasn't intending on having two logos on this, but I thought I'd see what it looks like. So I'm going to remove that one from the pouch. It's got like a little um, rib on the sleeve, so everything with that is pretty much good to go. The fit is the same as previous years, but the fabric is a little bit lighter because obviously it's for spring summer. With the set sweatpants, for the first time we've tried like an, an embroidery on the pockets. And also it has a pocket on the rear, so that's quite cool, something we're probably going to go ahead with. And then on the cuff, rather than having like a ribbed stretchy cuff, it's going to have no uh, cuff, but it's going to have a zip up the side. So again, uh, a small detail which will make the sweatpants look a little bit smarter at the same time. This is the first time producing a sweatshirt that will match, and I was unsure on this size, so with this I used the hoodie spec. So the fit of it is the exact same as the hoodie. The neck details is the same as the oversized t-shirt. Uh, this is the first sample of it. I've tried it on and it's spot on, uh, which is quite rare to be honest to get a product uh, perfect the first time. This is the matching t-shirt to the set. Obviously it's in a bit of a different color at the moment. And a lot of the details like the sweatshirt and the t-shirts will come with this rubber badge for branding on the back, but it might be a little bit different. I might get rid of the white pinstripe off that. Uh, again, it's got the piping down the side, uh, flat 2D embroidery on there. Again, the fit of that, the only difference is, is that the bottom bit, our previous t-shirts had like a curved hem, which came down about four centimeters. I got rid of that, kept the length the same, but now in theory, the length of the t-shirt is a bit too long, so that needs to be altered. And then this is a cut and sew t-shirt. Um, I was thinking of doing it in like a white, gray and black, but I thought I'd see what it looks like in a, obviously a more brighter color. So I've gone with red and blue. Um, quite like it to be honest so we'll probably uh, do that for the bulk as it offers a bit more colour in the range and the same it's the exact same on the back with the uh, badge detail on there as well so now we then have the other t-shirt samples and also um, a bit of a different fabric sample so when I wasn't sure where I was going to do white for the full um, kind of twin set range I was thinking of doing like an acid wash colour so they've sent me this sample uh, it's a bit darker than what I wanted, so I need to speak to my supplier and see uh, where that colour's come from and also if they can do something a bit lighter. 
Um, this is the other t-shirt again, cut and sew panels here, uh, about two centimeters tall. Uh, it's got a diff bit of a different logo on this one, uh, 2D embroidery. Again, it'll have the badge on the back. Um, quite like that t-shirt. Um, again, not really any other changes other than the length. And then there's this one that I was just wearing, uh, which I've just made the error of in between the other videos. I've just gone and had my dinner. So I've now spilt a bit of chilli on it, uh, but you've got to let me off. I'm only 31 years old, so I've not developed those life skills yet. Uh, again, this is a cut and sew t-shirt, uh, 2D embroidery on it, logo on the back, black, white, steel grey. The only alterations I'm making to this one is that I've asked for the white panel to, it's about five centimetres at the moment. I'm changing that to 3.5, but again, quite happy with that. Probably go straight into bulk. So that pretty much shows you all the samples that I've received for samples one. Uh, what I will do is I've gone, like I said, through my tech pack. I've, I'll tell my supplier any changes in the sizes, which I think will be wrong. And then I've wrote any changes like I've put. Uh, can we try the pocket on the right hand side? Move this embroidery down. Can you change this logo from this one to this one? So I'll then mock together an email, call it kind of like sample one alterations. We'll go through each of the products, make any changes if necessary. They'll, um, a few more weeks time, I'll receive samples number two. And usually it it takes between, you can obviously get it perfect the first time, but usually two to three samples. Um, and then from that point, I'll choose the styles, the exact colors. I'll have swatches of fabrics and stuff and uh, colors. And then I'll place the order. You pay 25% upfront, what I do with my supplier. Get the order, pay 25% upfront. Obviously it takes, it's between about seven and 12 weeks. So it can be up to three months for the bulk to be made. Um, they'll contact you, you pay the outstanding 75% and then it's shipped. You'll obviously then see the product when I do like um, sneak previews, when like the stock arrives on the lorry and stuff like that. I'll then obviously either have a photo shoot or work with an influencer. Uh, that'll be the bulk product. Uh, get it shot on the website, have a release. And then obviously the product so that you guys go online and buy is the bulk. And obviously that's the kind of lead up to it. So like samples like this, not many alterations, some Back in the day when I first started, I remember with my other supplier, I probably did about nine to 10 samples on a pair of sweatpants and I still didn't get it right. So as you go along the brand and the processes get a lot easier, but I thought it might give you a bit of a cool insight into the samples as I've not seen too many other brands showing uh, that kind of behind the scenes. Uh, if you've got any questions about the samples or the sample processes or anything to do with running a clothing brand or anything, pop them in the comments and uh, I'll be sure to answer.